Did you try Attack on Titan Draft and have some questions on a way to maybe make the experience better? Well, I have a proposal for you, and it's called 2 plus 1 Draft. So first of all, what's wrong with the modified draft? Now, this is the draft proposal that um, is the way that Universus, UVS Games, proposes you to draft. Um, and just as a quick recap, modified draft is where you can draft any card, regardless of symbol. Your characters basically all have the infinity symbol. Well, the issue is that it results in low character diversity, and the reason why is the fact that there is no cost to playing a really popular character like there would be in a normal draft where you're symbol locked. And the reason is, let's say there's a draft and everyone in the pod wants to draft for Smiling Titan. Well, in this case, you would see a scenario where um, in modified draft, most of these Smiling Titans can make very compelling legal decks, whereas in a draft where the symbols matter, they're gonna be competing over a, a smaller section of the entire card pool, so they're not gonna get the cards that they need necessarily as easily because they can't just run an eight diff that's not on symbol. Another thing is, it is very similar to sealed. Um, a lot of the times you play modified draft and you're picking um, basically a pile of good things that are just good rather than synergistic things because you're not caring about a specific symbol, so you don't have to make hard choices about a symbol that you're not looking for. Um, and so you can just take the best cards from every symbol and run a pile of good stuff. And um, uh, this just feels very similar to sealed because if everyone's doing the similar thing, then it's just like you open six packs um, and uh, you didn't have to go through this whole process of drafting uh, to, to get your pile of cards. And finally, I think uh, this is the most compelling reason. Uh, because of a card called Bearded Titan, um, a lot of people were kind of scratching their heads and wondering um, what was up with Modified Draft. Because there's really no point to ever play Bearded Titan in Draft because every symbol has the infinity symbol in Draft. So why did they make the Bearded Titan? Um, and I think it just shows that um, it, something more along this lines uh, was intended. So here's the proposal of two plus one draft. You get your character symbols, and then you get one symbol of your choice. So if you were Smiling Titan, for example, you would get the life symbol, and you would get the death symbol. And then you could get one more symbol. It could be fire, air, order, um, any other one symbol of your choice. And so you're basically locked to three different symbols. The other thing you do in two plus one draft to really help with this is that at the start of the draft, you open all your packs, take out the character cards only so that you know what characters that you are drafting for. That way you can actually make some informed decisions on what symbols to go for at the start. Um, and I think that uh, opening all the characters up front also helps in modified draft too. If you aren't really a fan of the two plus one idea, um, it was still something that I think if you're opening all your characters, you just have a little bit more information about exactly what you're going to be playing. Um, it would always feel really bad to open your first pack, um, take out the character card, and it's a character that you know for sure that you never want to play, and then you have no idea what you're drafting for. Um, and maybe the character you want to play is in your sixth pack, and you don't know that until you've done five rounds of drafting. And I think uh, this is a great way to actually avoid that. So um, the reason I think this is more along the lines of what was intended is because of the fact that Bearded Titan exists. And I think that the issue that UVS Games ran into probably is the fact that um, a lot of people weren't able to make legal decks. Um, and that was a big concern of mine with this uh, idea. Um, and so I tried it uh, with my locals. Um, and our results are as follows. The draft felt more like a draft um, where people were drafting certain symbols and they weren't just drafting whatever the highest, uh, the best card in their um, card pool was, but um, they would open their pack and kind of select a couple symbols um, and they were able to pivot too if they felt that one symbol was wide open and no one was drafting it. Um, and so that really allowed uh, for some people to go in there and uh, capitalize on other players not drafting a symbol as much as maybe they should have. 
Um, and at the end of the day, everyone out of our nine player draft was able to make a legal deck. So I, that gives me a lot of confidence that if you go and play two plus one draft at, um, on your own, you're going to be able to make a legal deck. And I think this solves the issue that EVS Games was trying to solve by making every character have the infinity symbol, which is you can play um, a legal deck because you are going to be drafting enough legal cards to include in your deck. Um, just because of all the flexibility that the two symbols plus one additional symbols uh, gives you. Uh, that's all I really had. Um, so I just wanted to just say, if you do try this, um, I hope it goes really well. And I hope you um, comment below if, if you try it and, um, and let me know how it goes for you. Anyway, that's all I have. So um, thanks for watching and see you next time.